Do you like my henna? Do you like it? Isn't this pretty? Blah. Hey there, it's Carly Vinciguerra, and welcome back to my channel. Woohoo! Today's video is something that I've had in the works for a little bit. This is how to survive middle school. Now, I'm not yet done with middle school. I'm in eighth grade, so I said pretty much an expert on the topic of middle school. So I have for you seven little tips, tricks, or things to know or to get in your brain when going into middle school or even if you already are in middle school. And I don't know where you are, but here where I live, middle school is sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. But I know in other places they have junior high and it's just seventh and eighth grade. Or I know some places they don't even have middle school and it just goes from elementary school and then sixth grade is considered high school. I don't know, however it is, Really, this is just good tips for any school. Let's begin. Numero uno. This doesn't really apply to everyone, but I'm still going to talk about it. And this is makeup. Now, it usually is in middle school that girls, or boys, I don't know who you are, um, start wearing makeup. And the big thing is that, do I wear it, do I not? Everyone always says, just go with what you feel, do with what you want. But no one really does that. And I'm gonna tell you how to figure out if you want to wear makeup or not. I would say to play around with it or put it on your face and maybe go out in public or just try it out around the house. And if you feel confident, you feel pretty, you feel like it makes you feel amazing and you just feel really confident in it, then of course you can wear makeup to school. But if you wear it and you feel kind of, you're kind of conscious of it all day, you kind of want to take it off, or makes you feel weird, then don't wear it. Take it off, you don't have to wear it to school. You should never feel pressured to wear makeup. Now if you do choose to wear makeup, I have some helpful tips to share. Now this is just what I recommend. You can totally do whatever you want. It's really, as long as like your school doesn't have like a rule against how much you wear. But if you're just starting out, some really easy stuff, which is really cheap and easy to find anywhere, are some subtle mascara, you don't need like big, big big voluminous lashes you're just starting out unless you want that which of course a little face powder which just absorbs any extra moisture or sweat and then a lip tint not like a lipstick or a lip glosses or a lip, you can use a lip gloss but a lip tint is like the brand baby lips or something like that that just gives your lips a little pop of color you can find many youtube tutorials a bunch of awesome youtubers do subtle makeup looks you can just find those and use drugstore products. You don't need anything high-end if you're just getting started. Tip number two. There is a lot of stress in middle school. There is so much going on. It's a big, big changing point in your life. It's a big step up from elementary school. And there's also just lots of work, lots of things happening. You're in a lot of stuff. You probably might be really involved. You've got a lot going on. And so this is my tip on how to manage your life. So something that really helps me is making to-do lists. So, you know, sounds simple as it is, make a list of everything that I have to get done, uh, every, everything that I have a due date for that is coming up or approaching and stressing me. That way I have everything I need to get done in one place. And then what I do is I prioritize it. I see what do I have to get done by tomorrow. So I know I have to get that done first. For example, let's say you gotta do a math sheet an ELA project and you gotta like practice your instrument for band. I don't know. And so let's say the math sheet is the only thing that's due the next day. Like you have to practice your instrument but you can do that by like two days. Or the ELA project is due in like a week. So yes, you have to work on those things but only after you finish the math sheet. Makes sense? That way you're just getting everything that you have done for the next day out of the way, you don't have to worry about it anymore. This is something that really helps me, but it may not be the best solution for you. You really gotta keep looking out there, but that's the thing that has really saved me lots of sweat and tears. Tip number three. Okay, this tip kind of seems a little stupid, but trust me, it's not. This tip is simply enjoy middle school. And you're probably like, um, I hate middle school, middle school sucks. I, what are you talking about? It's so boring, it's so stupid. Think about it. When you get older and you forget to turn in an assignment, it's going to affect your job. It's going to affect your pay. Your paycheck depends on the work that you get done. In middle school, if you don't turn in a homework assignment or something, 
you get like points off your grade. Like really, there's, it's just the stakes are just lower. You're not in high school yet, which high school is a little, stakes are higher, but it's, you just gotta think about it. It's not the end of the world. Enjoy middle school. This is really some of the last points in your life where you have like not as much pressure on all the things that you do. It's just enjoy the fact that like the only struggle you have in life is finishing your math homework. Cause later in life, when you're hustling and bustling and you're doing your job and such, you're gonna be like, man, I wish all I had to do tonight was my math homework. Which I know math homework isn't the only thing I have to do every night, but you get my point. You get the analogy. Tip number four. And this is probably my most important tip. Okay, I want you to picture this. What do you post on social media? Think about it, what do you post? You probably don't post anything sad or like depressing because you don't wanna show that to the world. You probably post the really exciting and happy things that are happening in your life. For example, you just got a new dog, your trip to Costa Rica, you're going to Disney World, and you post all these amazing cute artsy photos of all those fun things in your life. So think when you're sad and you're depressed or something emotional is going on and you're in an emotional state and you're freaking out and you hop on social media and you see that Sarah's in Disney World and Tom's just got a new puppy, it's not gonna make you feel very good and then it will make you more tempted to say something or do something that you may regret doing or saying. This is really where a lot of the cyberbullying can sprout from. It is, it's really where it can come from. So if you're finding yourself really, really emotional or you're sad or you're stressed or you're just having this built up of like anxiety or something, the last place that you should be going for help is social media. There's one exception to this rule. YouTube can be sometimes acceptable because I know some way that I like to cope with stress and anxiety or emotions is to watch some of my favorite YouTubers because they relax me and I'm like, oh my God, there's still peace in the world. But I make sure not to go to like haul videos or like videos of something that may make me feel sad or down. You see what I'm talking about here? I watch like happy videos or skits or comedies or something that make me feel better. So that one was a little long-winded, but it's really important and I feel like it's not really talked about. Oh, also to go along with that rule, of course, everyone knows if you wouldn't want your grandma to see it, don't post it online. Just don't do it. You get in a lot of trouble for the things that you post on social media. It comes around. You delete it, it comes around. Just everyone knows that, but just keep that in mind. Tip number five. This tip is don't date just to date. Middle school is that time where everyone's dating people. This person's dating that person. This person's dating that person. And Coming from a person that has never had a boyfriend, I'm telling you that sometimes, yes, it's kind of sad when like you see that all of your friends or all the girls in the school have a boyfriend. But really, the I would find myself thinking the only reason that I like want to date is because I want to date. That's not a good motivation to be in a relationship because it's just not going to get you anywhere. It's going to make, everything's going to be sour and bad and things are going to go not goodly. So just don't date because you want to date. Okay, tip number six is to get involved. I have done that maybe a little too much at my school. I'm in everything at my school and it's, sometimes it can be a little stressful. So maybe don't do that, but at least be in one or two, excuse me, one or two clubs or activities or things at your school because when you look back on middle school, you don't want to think back on like, oh, I remember I got a hundred on a test one time. You want to look back and think, oh, I was in the marching band and, oh, well, they don't have marching band in middle school. Maybe they do, I, they don't have those around here. I, mean, I was in the lead in the play and oh, that one time I went to art club and it was really fun. Like, you want to have good memories of things that you did. So get involved. Um, there's so many different things at my school. I don't know if they have that many opportunities at other schools. But I'm sure there is something that you would find of interest at your school that you can get involved in and have fun so you can make memories. Last but not least, tip number seven. This one's just kind of like a, a thought, a brain to brain. This is, you are most like the five people that you hang out with the most. So think about it. I want you to envision the five people that you hang out with the most. For me, it would be my mom, my dad, 
my best friend Mia, my stepmom, and maybe Caitlin from my last video. Those are the five people that I hang out the most with, and I think that's a pretty, pretty good mix because I think all those people are super cool and they're really great and they're great role models and they're great people and they have great morals, which is really, really great. And I'm hoping that you're thinking the same thing about your top five people. But if you're not, then maybe you want to change some of those relationships because really friendships are extremely important to have in middle school and extremely important to have solid, good, healthy relationships with your friends. Just really think about your relationships and if really they're helping you or hurting you. And in some cases, the relationship may be hurting you and that's a hard thing you have to go through. You're just gonna have to figure it out on your own how it would be easiest to just kind of dissolve that relationship slowly but carefully. Just make sure that the other person is not offended in any way and that you just slowly break it off and dissolve that so it's not hurting you anymore. And one easy way if you need to find friends is to go back to that getting involved. I am friends with all of my people in theater. I love them so much. They're like my like quadruple with family. I have families in every place. I got so many families and all the things I do. And I really love my theater fam. And so that's where I have a lot of my friends. A lot of my friends are in theater. And they're really great. I love them all. So if you have a passion for art or something, maybe you can have a bunch of friends in art club. Or if you're into choir, you can have your choir fam. And that's super cool because it's a really easy way to bond with people because you know you both have a similarity already. And you can just go with that and then bam friendship yay okay so that's it those are my seven tips I hope maybe I said something that you hadn't heard before I know I kind of said a lot of mainstream stuff but I have some other different things in there if you liked what you saw please give this video a thumbs up and also please comment down below what you do at your school what clubs or activities or electives or things are you involved in at your school and we can have a nice bonding in the comments or something i don't know i almost forgot to do my favorite what is it called my favorite today my weekly favorites whatever i'm calling it did i pick a name <sighs> Jeez, already almost didn't last two weeks okay i'm gonna change it so last week i said i'm going to do my favorite song and my favorite food every week every week i'm going to do my favorite song and my favorite youtuber that week so i'm gonna call it my top tuber get it top tuber because youtuber um so i am my life is youtube i'm always on youtube it's a bad addiction and i'm constantly finding new channels that i love and people that i'm really interested in and that i think should have more subscribers so i will always link my top tuber down below so you can go subscribe to them and then I'll always say my favorite song okay my favorite song this week is called reflections by mr wives it is amazing and I really like it and it's an all going song. Okay, then my top tuber this week is Jenna Larson. She does a lot of acting videos and videos on film and acting auditions and all those kind of things. And she also does, she's vegan and makes a lot of vegan videos, which I'm not vegan, I just think it's cool when people are able to be vegan. And I love her videos and they're really cool and I will link her channel down below and you can go check her out because she's pretty gnarly. Also, please subscribe to my channel for a new video every Saturday. And I think that we are done. If you didn't know, but my laptop was here the whole time. I was reading from it the whole time. Cause I'm memorizing things when your brain is tired sometimes hard oh and look my hair is in braids for two days so now it's like poofy mcpooferson and la i got the sweater in new york sweatshirt it's not ironic it says la on it but i got it in new york Ta -da.